Hi guys, welcome to Darren's Toy Channel and welcome to another car boot sale, charity shop and toy shop haul. Um, as some of you may know, Toys R Us was closing down this week. I popped in, there wasn't really a lot there, so I picked up some Star Wars Rogue One stickers for about 10 pence, 15 pence each, something like that. So we went along to Smith's, uh, picked up a WWE Mattel Retro Kane figure. And that one is basically for trade or for sale. Because um, I already have him. But I know he's one of the harder ones to find. So I thought I'd pick him up. Um, as for charity shop this week. Uh, $1.99 each these cost me. These are the um, Hot Wheels Monster Jam Monster Trucks. Uh, these are the larger ones. I mean, the one I picked up a couple of weeks ago was the Turtles one. And it is three or four times the size. I don't know. But yeah, so we've got Avenger. I don't know if the, it looks a bit sun bleached or if that's what it's supposed to look like. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, one ninety nine. But the one that caught my eye most was obviously the Batman or Batmobile. Um, yeah, one ninety nine each. A little bit of rust on the bottom of that one, but other than that, metal tops, plastic bottoms, plastic wheels, but look kind of cool, so I grabbed them. Um, on to today, first thing I picked up was a WWE remote control monster truck. Um, it was a pound. It does work, kind of. I've just got to sort out the issue with the steering. I think as a screw has come out and it's missing a light. It is from, I don't know where it's from, it doesn't say. No, just WWE branded all over it. So probably 2000, 2008. Yep, so that was that. Um, then we picked up a Lion King statue. Got a bit of a chip on his nose. Um, I think it's wood, I'm not. But then they're showing it at the bottom, so I don't know. But yeah, it cost me a pound. Um, you see them in jewellers. They seem to go for good money. So we'll just see how we go with that one. Um, we then picked up a SO Disneyland Paris mug with Minnie Mouse on the front. Um, it looks brand new to be honest. My sister has the last lot so she'll probably take that as well. And we also picked up a Pac-Man ghost from Bandai. It's a squidgy, stress ball type thing, but I don't know his name. If you do, drop it in the comments, let me know. But that's that one. Um, we then picked up a, well, I'm going to get rid of this, a Nerf Rebel crossbow. Uh, I think that cost me a pound. Sorry, the ghost cost me 20p, the mug cost me 50 the lion cost me a pound. But yeah, uh, that cost me a pound as well. So... But my daughter will probably take that because if they normally do. Um, then we went to a stall and we got some figures. First, we've got a biker mice from Mars bike. I don't know whose it is, I don't know what year it's from because it's got nothing on it. But look kind of cool, kind of recognize the badge, I think. So that's why I picked him up. And that with two. Real Ghostbuster Rays and the Playman Bill Girl was a fiver, so 125 each ish, maybe there or thereabouts. Again, from the same place, also picked up a Lego movie Batman Series 2 Joker um, on these holidays by the looks of it. But my son's taken that, I think that was £2. Um, on to the wrestling figures. These were a quid each, I think. We got uh, a Stone Cold Steve Austin from 1999 Titan Tron Live Jack Pacific with his Watt t shirt. And we got a little bit older one, I think. This is. Oh no, 99 as well. In a 100% Hellraiser t shirt. Again, joints are a little bit loose, but it's staying in my collection, so it doesn't really matter. 
We also picked up a Scorpion King rock with his axe. At least the guy in the store said it was his axe, so. He is from 99. Missing the bottom of that shoe, but pretty sure it doesn't matter. So it's kind of cool. Joints are quite stiff. Looks a bit different. So I grabbed it. Then the last wrestling figure we picked up today was Lita, uh, 2000, I think it is. Where is it? It's on his leg somewhere, isn't it? There you go. Yeah, 2000, Jack specific. A um, little bit of paint loss on the back of the jeans, a little bit of paint chipping on the top, but quite a nice figure all the same. Um, last two things we picked up was the accessories for Hawk or Animal from the Legion of Doom with the blue shoulder pads. I think this is Jack specific as well and a Vader helmet. That was a quid each. Um, last two things we picked up was an M&M's dispenser from 2000, quite, quite recently, 2015. It's got a Darth Vader one. So you put your M&M's in the back there and they would release from there and it lights up his lightsaber. And that cost me two pound but I thought it looked really good so I grabbed it and then the last thing we picked up literally as I was leaving the boot first I saw this so oh a TIE fighter so I went and grabbed it and it was a popcorn holder from a Disneyland park it's got the lanyard the wings are removable I don't know why but looks different so we grabbed it from Force Awakens, that's fairly recent. Yeah, and that I believe is it for this week. Um, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. I'm also on eBay, and my collection is going slowly on to snups. Um, yeah, watch out, watch some of my previous videos. Share with anyone who would like it, and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye now.